Good evening, and thank you for joining us for A Story of Hope, One Man's Recovery from Depression. Hi, Michael. Hi, Diane. Thank you so much, Michael, for your willingness to share your journey and helping others to understand what it's like to live with depression and how to overcome it. It's my absolute pleasure. So, from what you've been sharing with me, you went through quite a severe period of depression. Can you tell us a bit about that, Michael? Yes, sadly I did. Uh, I, I was clinically, clinically diagnosed with my psychologist back in January 2012. I had the following symptoms prior to him making that call that I did have depression. Uh, I, would, I had a sense of dread. I was fear-stricken. I, I was anxious. I was stressful. Uh, I, I was in a very dark, a very dark place. It was very eerie. I had little or no hope. I was in a place of isolation, mm -hmm. place of dread, place of torment. Yeah, and it, it was very demeaning and I had no outlook on life and I had no future. Mm. So it sounds like it was a very hopeless and dark place to be. Hopeless and darkness at its uppermost then also very lonely and isolation and it was a place of torment and a place that I wouldn't wish my my, my best enemy to, to have in. Mm. So at one point you experienced a really miraculous healing. Can you tell us about that miraculous healing? Indeed I can and again that was six months into again my having been diagnosed as having depression. I went attended my local church service at Castle Hill we had a CD promotion, uh, very audible, very loud, and actually, I didn't actually want to attend church that morning. It was very hard for me to actually get out of bed and even get dressed and get get in the car and get myself to church because it was the, the last place I actually wanted to be. Mm. But I had within me an expectation of something's, something's going to happen here, and I came uh, as as a member of the of the audience. And I actually heard God's audible voice, and he actually said to me, amidst the noise and, and tribulation, he was saying, Michael, if you raise your hands toward me, I will heal you. And at that instant that I actually was obedient to, to his, his hearing his, his audible voice, uh, even now I get a bit emotional, but I was totally transformed from that, from that moment in time. And I give God all the glory. Uh, Having left the service, people looked at me and said, Michael, there's something changed about you. And I said to them, look, there has been a transformation. I have actually been healed. Mm. And I had much joy, much elation. I came home to this household and I had this sense to just run on the back field, which I did. And I was jumping around like a, a, a young gazelle. And my wife and my daughters looked at each other saying, what has actually gone on here? And it was a total transformation. God had totally healed me. And it was a miracle, mm -hmm. and that's that's the fact, and it's the very truth, and it's still very real to me today. That's how mm -hmm. that's a real the miracle happened in my life. What a beautiful story of how God has healed that depression. You know, quite often people don't realize God can still heal. He can, and he does. And healing mental health issues as well as physical health issues. Absolutely. So what a hopeful story for many out there that are living with and suffering from depression to hear how God actually worked so miraculously on your behalf. Absolutely, and uh, to this day I continue to thank him the fact that through Jesus you can become an overcomer. You are more than a conqueror. Mm -hmm. And those words I constantly continue to declare daily and that becomes, I'm able to gain further strength in it each day in, in my walk in the person of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, very sadly, you shared that after that experience, sometime later, you went back into depression. Can you share with others a little about what was the cause of going back into the depression? Yes, sadly, uh, my clinical psychologist was, was talking to me regarding cognitive behavioural therapy, and I needed to do exercise. I needed to exercise my physical body, I needed to exercise my mind, and I needed to exercise spiritually. It was a threefold ministry in that sense, of which I allowed those three areas to actually, I wasn't consistent enough 
to maintain all three and I became debilitated mm. and I became dysfunctional in not being able to, to administer to myself those, those three areas which, which I remain strong in today as, as I speak because I, I'm, I'm, I was not the man that I was uh, 18 months ago, the, the, who the person I am today. And having maintained the physical, the, the physical strength, the, the, uh, the spiritual strength, and my head, my head strength, my my knowledge, my head space, that is so is so current today. Mm. So one of the key things that you've spoken about is that you felt a lot of negative thoughts dragged you back down into the depression. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, it was almost twelve months back in uh, twenty thirteen January twenty thirteen. I actually thought about the fact that it was my first anniversary. And this time, this time a year ago, I had depression, but sadly, uh, I, I ruminated. And in, in saying that, it's it's when when you when you ruminate, you focus on one word or one phrase or behavior, an old an old pattern of behavior that you've had, whether it's a physical physical behavior or mental behavior, and you constantly think about that thought. You have that same thought over count for two or three minutes. It's just constantly be repetitive, repetitive, and it can just take you down take you down to the pit and unfortunately it, 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 it left there knowing that you've got to, you've got to climb out you've got to climb out again to, to, to recover and to, to achieve a place of, of wellness again mm. and so in a sense God took you on a different journey of a natural healing journey in maintaining some of the natural gifts God has given us yes absolutely and again having had the, the, the total healing this was now a process, but it's become and allowed me to be a stronger person of who I was and to, main, and to have a sustainable uh, relationship and, and being sustainable in the sense of uh, declaring God's word each day, reading God's word each day, listening to, to praise and worship, uh, meditating on his word, mm. memorizing his word, and actually declaring his word. It's so powerful, so powerful today. So understanding a lot of who you are in Christ and your relationship became a foundational truth for your recovery? Absolutely, it certainly did and it still is today. Without, it created in me having a solid foundation. Like Jesus says, I'll never leave you or forsake you. That I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Mm. They, they are words I continue to declare daily and that I'm able to, to maintain and discipline myself to to work those three years again stressing the fact that of having a, a, strength, a strength in physical wellness a strength in your spiritual wellness and a strength in in your headspace mm. well thank you so much for sharing a little bit about your journey Michael I'm sure that's going to be of great benefit to many people who've been wondering how do I get out of this awful pit that I'm in this pit of depression yes so if you are struggling with depression, some of those keys again, the physical exercise. You know, the body releases endorphins when we exercise, which is God's natural antidepressant, sure. one of the keys to helping us to overcome depression. The spiritual elements, maintaining relationship with a God who loves us mm -hmm. and wants the best of us. Jesus said in Luke, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. If you are brokenhearted, one of the main reasons that Jesus declared he came is to bring healing to your life. The third key that Michael talked about, a very strong part of his recovery, was maintaining thoughts in line with God's word, God's truth. And so we pray that as you watch this video, that you will receive some keys to how God can work, how he can come and heal you from anxiety, depression, or anything that has taken you captive. God bless and take care. God bless.